What's up YouTube, it's Jermaine with another video. And in this video I'm gonna talk about San Francisco, um, vacancies, and um, I don't know, sort of the new direction that the city's going. Um, so first off, I'll talk about um, the vacancies, okay? Well, if you guys have noticed, San Francisco is in a boom. Okay, like people want to move here from all over the country because of the because of all the awesome jobs and tech and you know people just want to move here and vacancies are becoming pretty big and I'm not talking about for housing I'm talking about for commercial real estate um, all over the city right now they're building skyscrapers and majority of these skyscrapers have retail space on the first floor. And one thing I've noticed is there are a few buildings that have been open for years, but the retail space on the first floor is vacant. And a lot of people may wonder, huh, why is it still vacant? It's been two years. No business wants to move in. Well, there are a couple of reasons why a lot of these places are vacant. Um, I would say the first reason is the price of uh, the rent. Rent's really expensive for a lot of these new buildings. And not only rent, it may require a five-year lease or a 10-year lease. So if you don't have just a business that's popping, who wants to sign a five or 10-year lease? That's one problem a lot of uh, businesses are running into. But the bigger problem I see is, it's just the way people spend money, especially like younger people. You know, you have the younger generation now who we are so addicted to phones and apps and we want things like delivered to us. So a lot of young people just buy everything off a line, you know? Myself, I may go to the North Face store and I may check out a North Face jacket and I may try it on and see how it feels. But then I will walk out of the North Face store without buying the jacket and go on eBay or Amazon and buy the jacket at a lower cost or a lower price. A lot of young people doing this nowadays and if you take San Francisco which is a, which is like a city that's in a tech boom you have a lot of young people who are into tech and they're figuring out the best prices for everything so instead of going to this store right here look we can just get it off of Amazon and we can have it delivered I never even have to go to that store so a lot of businesses are running into that problem no one wants to you know sign a lease and hire expensive employees when people are just not everyone but you have so many people that are just eye shopping and they're just gonna buy it somewhere else and another problem I see is with apps nowadays there's a few apps for guys and girls and pretty much you sign up for for these apps I don't I can't think of one off the top of my head but you pretty much, you give them your size, you know, size shirt, size shoes, size pants. And every month, they send you a box of clothing, okay? And if you like something in the box, you can keep it. And what you don't like, you can put it back in the box and mail it to them, okay? It's kind of cool. So now you really don't have to shop. You can just shop on your phone. You can say, hey, I want this delivered. I want that delivered. Or you can just... Have them randomly put stuff in a box, send it to you, and you know, you're at home in the comfort of your own home, you can try it on, you can look in the mirror, you know, you don't have to go to the store and, you know, wait for the, wait in the line for the dressing room, no, you can just do it all at the comfort of your home, um, what you don't like, you can put it back in the box, ship it back to them, so right there, like, fashion is sort of changing, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna change, um, I'm not really worried about that part because people are still going to go out and shop, okay? They are. They're still going to go out and go to the mall and spend money and, you know, walk around with the shopping bag. But yet, I feel that it's going to be less and less people doing that in the future and more people are going to order, you know, online. And um, another, um, another thing I've noticed with app jobs, too, is if you want food nowadays... You can order food from like Postmates or Caviar, a site like that. Or you can order food from, um, like let's say, Spoon Rocket. 
Um, I believe Spoon Rocket makes their own food in-house, meaning that they have people in the kitchen making the food, okay? Now, a company like Spoon Rocket, they don't need that, that storefront, you know? Since they're making food in-house, they can make food somewhere like in a warehouse, and then they just literally deliver the food to the customer. Um, pretty much how Spoon Rocket works is people drive around in their car with like hot food in their car, very similar to airplane food, and you go to your app, there's like four different things on the menu, you click on what you want, and a driver delivers the food to you. So, it's kind of convenient. Now, um, Spoon Rocket, on the other hand, they're making a pretty good grip because the food probably costs nothing for them to make. And then they're just like giving it to, to, to drivers and drivers are just going to deliver it. These job, these, um, <laughs> I've noticed that these apps are, they're, they're becoming more and more popular. And if they catch on in the future, we could possibly see less restaurants because instead of, you know, the food coming from that restaurant, now the food's coming from, it's just coming from like Spoon Rocket and Spoon Rocket, they don't need a pretty storefront. They just need billboards and ads and people to give out referral codes so that's one thing i'm seeing more and more because restaurants are expensive in this city like average meal is like ten dollars and then usually you know that's for like cheap food you know if you want to go more expensive you know 20 30 bucks but for cheap food it's like 20 bucks no it's like 10 bucks and man it's just it's kind of expensive with rent and employees and yeah this city is just getting out of hand so I think the more app jobs are going to really explode around here. And not just here, like in other parts of the country, like especially New York. I mean, New York, people, it's just like SF, people order everything off an app. Because, I mean, I can kind of see why in New York the weather sucks for one in the winter. Why would you want to go outside and walk in the snow? And for another thing, like, gosh, there's like, they deliver everything in New York. Like, if you even have a wake up in New York with a hangover, there is someone that can come to you and put an IV bag in your arm. And in less than five minutes, you will feel incredible. Like, that's the one app that we don't have in the city, or at least not that I have heard of. But yeah, there's so many app jobs out there, and it's definitely going to change the real estate um, scene. I mean, right now, I do eye crack. And instead of going to a cell phone shop, you don't need a cell phone shop. You just need a backpack and you just need to go to the customer. So I can see the future. There's going to be way less. There's going to be more commercial real estate vacancies, you know, or maybe people could just live there or maybe tech companies could just move in there or something. But I've just I, I just see it all the time, you know, and it don't look like it's changing. It just looks like it's getting worse because. Right now in the city, there's a new neighborhood called Mission Bay, and it's literally a brand new neighborhood. Like everything in the neighborhood is brand new. Um, it's not really open yet. There's so much construction going on there, but people are like slowly moving in. And I've noticed there's like no businesses moving in down there. Like there's a grocery store that's gonna move in, and there's like a coffee shop that's been advertising for months that they're moving in. But I don't know with these new with these with all these new app jobs, people are ordering so much stuff online and they're having so much stuff delivered that I mean restaurants are they're having a hard time struggling. Low end restaurants, not high end restaurants. People, you know, still like to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on food, but for something like under twenty, thirty, forty bucks, people are just having it delivered. And um I don't know, I just, you know, made this video to just talk about situation in SF. But um, yeah, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. You like this video, hit the like button. You want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Um, this is called the San Francisco series. And every week I'm going to release videos talking about this amazing city I live in, San Francisco. And uh, in these videos, I'll just talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. But uh, yeah, anyway like this video, hit the like button. You want to see more? Subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.